behold the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world, believe in Jesus. I'm sure most of Atlanta thinks they're saved and born again, but I'm not really seeing the fruit of Atlanta, Georgia. When I look at all these towers and all these buildings, I look at how Southern Baptists have polluted the entire world and other denominations. Denominationalism is demonationism. It's demonizationism. It's time to believe on Christ as your Savior. It's time to believe on the slain Lamb of God, Yahuwah, before the foundation of the world. Jesus is your only hope. If you hope in anything other than Jesus, if you're hoping in your Southern Baptist, if you're hoping in your Presbyterian Park colleges, they're going to lead you straight to hell. All they care about is your money. I care about your soul, and I don't even get paid for this. No church agency pays me to do this. And I won't take their bribe. I will never take a bribe. I will never return to a Southern Baptist church, and neither should you. Many of you have gone to a church and you've been disappointed. But Jesus Christ will not disappoint you if you trust solely in him. Glory to the Lamb of Yahuwah slain before the foundation of the world. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God and you can't stop it for one moment. If you try to stop it, you won't be able. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the master of all masters. The Lord over all lords. Slain before the foundation of the world. He came to die for you. But would your pastor die for you? Would your pastor die for you? Or according to Ezekiel 34, is he a false shepherd who grows fat while you get lean and they get mean on you and you don't even know it? That's right. Trust in Christ. He died for you. He shed his blood. He shed his precious holy blood so that you could have salvation. There is salvation in no other name save the name of Jesus Christ, Yahusha, Messiah, Mashiach. So everybody is going to have a choice today. You over there, you're going to have a choice today. Believe on the name of Jesus or perish into the lake of fire. Glorify the Lamb of Yahuwah God slain before the foundation of the world. He came as a humble servant. But what does your pastor do? He comes self-exalted, self-appointed, false prophets for profit and gain at the expense of your pain. The slain Lamb of God, Yahuwah, died for you. He shed his blood. But would your pastor shed his blood for you? I seriously doubt it. They're all about money, fame, and fortune. Why well, am not? Why well, you must trust in Christ today, sir. You all must trust in Christ, not Creflo Dollar, not Charles Stanley, not his son Andy. We're all a bunch of reprobates. You can't trust in your prosperity preacher in this town. It's only going to be by trusting in Christ. You must hear the word of the slain Lamb of God for the foundation of the world. 
I see a police officer just drove right by me, so you're going to know they saw what I was doing. They can't stop this. Because I still, if I still have a First Amendment right, I'm going to do it. Because the Lamb of God gives me permission. The Lamb of Yahuwah. All right. Praises be to the slain Lamb. The Lamb of Yahuwah, God. Elohim before the foundation of the world. Ha'aretz. He died for you. There is nothing you could do to earn his love. No, no. No, no. And while the people have just uh, stopped passing through, I want to try to take a new approach to the ministry at M7 Ministries International. Uh, and I want to take a new format to this since the Holy Spirit's teaching me, just like he's teaching all the other street preachers, just like he's taught street preachers in the past. And everybody has their own unique approach. But a lot of times singing and praise and worship get people's spirits up. Or they might even become provoked. I don't know. But it all depends on the soil. The seed is all the same, but it's the soils. All right? It's the parable of the soils, not the seed. Not the seed and the sower, but the soils. Remember that as I uh, continue on here in a little bit. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Take your headsets off and know the glory of Yahuwah is greater than any technology. That the glory of Yahuwah, God Elohim, is mighty. And he is mighty to save to the uttermost today. If you'll believe on his mighty name. Praise the Lamb of Yahuwah, Elohim God. Slain before the foundation of the world. He gave his life. There is no way you could pay for the sin you've done. Because he went to that tree. The battle he did win. He won it. He won it. And a lot of cars come through here, so you're not always going to see people. But there are cars walking and with their windows rolled down. It's not terribly cold out here right now, believe it or not. The slain lamb of God, Elohim, Yahuwah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came and died for you. Your Southern Baptist pastor will not die for you. Your Southern Baptist pastor in the event of martial law will flee for the Rockies. They will flee for the Bahamas. I know their plans. Can't trust your Southern Baptist pastor today. You must, you cannot trust in Charles Stanley. You cannot trust in prosperity preachers like Prep or Dollar. Ma'am, all you can do is trust in Christ today. Anything else except for Christ is a losing proposition. Your church pastor only wants your money. Freflo Dollar and his $64 million jet ain't going to get you to heaven, and it ain't going to get him to heaven, and it ain't going to give him escape either in the time of tribulation and the time of trial. Don't worry. I sing praises to Yahuwah Elohim God for giving us his son, the slain lamb of Yahuwah, the lamb of God Elohim Yahuwah died for you and me on a tree. Wouldn't you agree today? Your church pastor can't save you 
But a flow dollar can't save you, nobody but Christ. Your money perish, Creflo Dollar. You're going to burn in hell if you don't sell it all and give to the poor. The same thing with you, Southern Baptist. You're going to die and go to hell, James Merritt. You ain't got no merit in the kingdom. I sing praises to the Lamb of Yahuwah. Elohim God, while we still have time and freedom to believe on the name of Christ, because the things in this world are going to get so scary bad, you won't believe, you won't believe the calamity coming upon this very world. If you don't repent, you need to repent before it's too late for you. What can you do? Believe on the name of Jesus, the slain Lamb of Yahuwah for your sake. Because in the end, if you don't believe in his name, even then there won't be any wedding cake. He's on the take, so is your pastor. Which one will you choose? If you choose the wrong one, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose the name of Jesus. Be glorified and exalted up on high. Because of him and what he did, he promised one day soon that our redemption to those who believe will draw nigh. If you believe on the name of Jesus, Yahusha, Praises to the Lamb.